Buying a home is a huge commitment and investment. So, before you close on the sale, know what you're getting into. And Charles Schwab's vice president and financial consultant, Michael Bonds, joins us with some wise words of advice. Michael, thank you for being with us this morning. It's a morning. pleasure. It's good, yeah. to, good to be with you. Yeah, absolutely. So, what are the most important things that someone should know when we're buying our first home? Well, the first thing you need to realize is why you're buying your first home. You mm -hmm. want to do, uh, do some you know, self-analyzation, ask yourself some questions, where you're going to be, why, when you're going to be there. Uh, you want to take a look at your employment, mm -hmm. um, uh, make sure that you're still going to have a job. Mm -hmm. Could there be a possibility of getting laid off? Right. Uh, you want to make sure that the house that you can afford today uh, is big enough if your family starts to expand because right. really investing in a house is for the long term. So you right. want to make sure that you're making the right decisions. Right, okay. Now if, if we're sort of weighing the benefits of owning versus renting, how would we go about starting to, to do that? Well, it's a great question. You always want to uh, analyze that. Uh, you can go to our website, which is schwabmoneywise.com, and we have a lot of guidelines there to help you on the long term. Mm -hmm. But one of the easiest ways is to figure out what your rent ratio is, and that's basically taking the price of the home divided mm -hmm. by what your annual rent would be. So an example okay. would be if you have a $250,000 home and you pay $1,000 in rent, that's 12,000 a year, right. so it's 250 divided by 12,000. That'd give you a ratio of about 20.8. So anything about above 20 generally indicates you want to stay renting. Okay. So, however, if your if your rents maybe $1,500 a month, that drops the ratio down to about 13.8. Mm -hmm. In that case, owning might be a little bit more attractive. Okay. Okay. That's that's good to know. I didn't know yeah. about that that sort of equation. Now. This is another thing. When I bought my first home with my wife, one thing I didn't wasn't expecting were upfront costs. Right. So, what should first-time buyers be expecting in terms of those upfront costs? Well, the biggest one obviously is the down payment, and mm -hmm. generally they started around 20 percent. So that's a that's a pretty big dollar ticket. Uh, if you now you can get financing for less than 20 percent down, but then you run into private mortgage insurance or PMI they call mm -hmm. it. And that expense can run you almost 1% of the value or, or the price of the home. Mm -hmm. And for a $240,000 house, that's an extra $200 a month. Right. So that's the biggest one. You mm -hmm. also have to look at closing costs. You've got to look at transfer fees, um, appraisal fees. Mm -hmm. Generally, your lender can help you out with some of those uh, costs. Uh, and then on top of that, you've got insurance that you've got to look at. You've got property taxes that you want to make sure that, you've, uh, that you're up on. Mm -hmm. Homeowners association dues, if they're applicable. And then just the overall maintenance of a house. Right. Uh, because the rule of thumb that we use is uh, on the maintenance especially is 1% um, of the value of the home on an annual basis is generally a good uh, ballpark to look at. And all of those things need to, build to be built into your monthly budget. Okay. Now, if, if we've got debt and no, hardly anyone's immune to it, how right. should our personal debt affect our buying decision? Well, it's, the rule of thumb that we look at is uh, the total house expenses should be about 28% of your pre-tax income. Okay. And then any other debt, like credit cards, uh, car loans, personal debt, that should uh, not be any more than about 36% okay. of that pre-tax income. So you just do the math. I mean, if you make $75,000 a year, 28% of that's about 20, 21000 uh -huh. So that monthly payment would be about 1750 okay. on the house provided that the other debt doesn't push you over 36%. Gotcha, okay. And if someone wants to set up a, uh, an appointment with you or one of the Charles Schwab uh, consultants, how would they go about doing so? Just give us a call here at our local office at 505-878-1320. Mm -hmm. We can sit down and kind of analyze your situation if you need to be pre-approved. We can do that, uh, and you always want to make sure that your credit is good moving into this. Otherwise, right. uh, you, you wasted a lot of time. So right. <laughs> just give us a call. We'll be able to help you out. Great. Well, Michael, thank you so much for all the information. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. It. Always a pleasure having you on. Come yeah. back with we'll more tips, it. please. Be back next week. Yeah, absolutely. All right.